What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at AMD stock. So we had AMD's earnings today and they beat on the earnings, but the price is falling. You can see it's at 148 in the post market and let's go to the hourly interval to just to get the sense out of it. So this is where the price is right now, uh, 148 and 62 cents. So we have now new technicals in hand after earnings prices reacted and look at it. Earnings were beat, but price is falling, right? That's why I don't like to most of the time carry position through the earnings, right? So now we have new technicals in hand. We'll take a look at how to trade AMD. What do I think? Where can it go all the way down to? And um, also what is the... Um, uh, but what are the earnings, right? <laughs> what are the numbers and the guidance, right? So we will also take a look at the options data and how all these calls are cooked, guys. Wow. So all the traders were betting money on the call side and they all are cooked. Kaboom! With that, guys, also we had earnings on SMCI. I did a video already on that. Check that out on my channel. Just want to show you NVIDIA as well. A little bit selling off in the post market with you know AMD and SMCI sell off. And so is the broader market selling off as well. Only Amazon earnings were better, um, but it couldn't save market itself. QQ and SPY have been falling just because Amazon weight is very less than QQ and SPY. But anyways, let's come back to AMD here. And um, what I want to start off with is just to show you something on the technicals front first a little bit and then let's jump into our next number. So structure, these technicals didn't change the structure in, from what we were already in. So that's benefit on our side. Yes, technicals are different. That's why technicals before earnings are different and after earnings are different. But structure for AMD because yes the structure changed but the overall direction of the structure didn't change in this case of amd so what do i mean by that so let's mark the first line uh, 147 is where it is right now this is where price is in the post market and 140 some 76 cents here we go let's give, just give it an average somewhere here this is where the price is in the post market almost um move to 148 i'm just gonna give it some room to move around okay i'm just i sorry guys i'm just trying to be accurate with the price projection here all right this is where in the post market the price is right now of amd which is still in line with the downward trend that amd is in a uh, lower uh, this is head and shoulder and then lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows it also got combined together with remember I was talking about this rebound that is intraday is coming and is potential to go all the way up to where $162 and we have to see then if it rejects at 20 days moving average it did that today but rebound until 162 continued and then we are selling off and now the after earnings as well technicals have given us that downtrend confirmation now before going further into the technicals I want to take you over first the numbers of the earnings and let's go through that so we have EPS, uh, well, uh, in line, it's in line almost. Um, revenue estimate, I'm seeing there's a negative surprise here. That's, I wonder if that's trading view because somewhere has read that they beat on both front. But anyways, these are the numbers, guys. You know, just look at them. And what I want to do is actually, uh, here we go, the outlook. AMD's outlook fails to impress uh, investors. And so I gave you the current number already showed you that this company said it's expect second quarter revenue 5.7 billion plus or minus 300 million, which is in line with analysts forecast of 5.73 billion. So nothing much changes on that front. The thing that is a killer here is, well, the company saw 80% growth in data, data center revenue hitting 2.3 billion. Analysts were modeling 2.27 billion. However, AMD ga gaming revenue fell 48%, that's quite a lot, and 46% fell off of the embedded revenue. And future looking guidance is just coming at par in line. So, you know, it is what it is. The reaction Wall Street is giving it that it deserves to go down, okay? But we have the technicals in our hand now, and let's talk about, let's see what from here, how do, how do we trade AMD now? So... Guys, I think just my high level opinion that we can 
event we will be coming down to 200 days moving average right now i don't have any position on amd um, i already covered my short position most of it here then over here and then i just fully got out here yesterday almost right so i mean i was sizing out right like 50 percent here 30 percent here and then remaining whatever 20 15 percent was it up here right still profitable trade but now we are in the new technicals and prices here most likely guys we do receive a follow through and i expect we may have a potential of falling down to 200 days moving average this week if not tomorrow but one more thing again though we do receive a follow through in the direction that earnings gives but it didn't happen in case of microsoft and google so be prepared can go most of the times it happens in that direction and because market is selling off so did Microsoft and Google couldn't catch up to their earnings uh, in the gap up. AMD is already down and market is selling off. So we have more likelihood of it just continuing lower, but nothing is guaranteed. Remember that. So let's go to the hourly interval. And that's why I like to see another day as well. Um, but here we go on this trend line front as well, right? We, this trend line is very important and we have been rejecting off of this many times. But the thing is that on hourly interval, yes, we are finding some support here today, but uh, I don't think this trend line hold that much importance right now because the structure already changed on this once we broke out of it to the upside, right? So let's move it back here. But you can see how well it held the support here as well on that, um, on that front, right? So oops, let's just take it there. Sorry, guys. All right, here we go now guys yeah this thing is yeah already selling off any rebound i think even if it comes tomorrow this will be potentially shorted even though i like to see another day if any support has to come it has to come at 145 tomorrow it's very simple if the support holds here you see a lot of consolidation and this thing starts to go up then it may rebound as well tomorrow but otherwise if and yeah if rebound comes it can come at 145 you can have a f almost five six dollars range but then you are seeing this significant level if price starts to reject here and if it does it will continue lower and i think by friday there is a possibility we will come down to 200 days moving average and i think amd will keep selling off and we'll see what happens at 200 days moving average which is at a price point of 137 I do like to see another day as well, post earnings, like how the next day has closed. That marks the starting of a range for the new technicals. And, but again, you know, this is my outlook right now based off of what AMD is doing in the front of the earnings. So guys, let's take a look at the options data now. So as we were watching this AMD's options data over last couple of days, look at it, so many calls were coming. Bright green, are, even today's calls through the earnings black is the so okay black line is the current price in the post market grays are the yesterday's and day before yesterday closing price and then bright green are the today's calls bright red are the today's puts options and then we have dark green from the previous days and dark red from the previous days calls and puts respectively data so you can see we were already seeing that calls were quite high up going into earnings and even today Calls increased dramatically, even $180 calls, like huge. $170 call, huge. $160 call, huge. And all of those these calls are cooked for this week expiration. Cooked. Kaboom. Right? And puts never had a lot of interest, even not over here, 150 Everyone was betting to the upside massively, massively. All these calls are cooked, guys. All these calls are cooked. That's why technicals are very important. And this also shows you that how to be very careful during earnings. All these traders just burnt their money. That's what it is, guys. That's what it is. So anyways, guys, uh, yeah. So let's continue with the rest of the video. So that's pretty much for uh, AMD, guys. And let's take a look at NVIDIA, where it is, 850 right now. I'll do another video on NVIDIA, guys. Don't you worry. We'll go over everything on this for the technicals and the structure on this as well. I'm just showing you the sentiment, how it's selling off as well. I did a video on QQ and SPY already. Like, these things, like, just have lost the, all the ground. And 
you can see that QQ and SPY, I was talking guys, yeah, these rebounds, just like AMD rebound I was talking about, right? Yeah, these rebounds are fine, they will come, but this is still just a downtrend, right? And we got those rebounds, but we are still in the downtrend. Uh, we rejected at that very blue box that I was talking about. This is QQQ in the post market. We are right over here as well. So looking uh, deep, quite in the fall. SPY as well, as I said, this break below 507 again is the continuation to the downside. We are getting that. I talked about much more about these guys in my uh, QQ and SPY video that I did today. Check those out on my channel. You will learn quite a lot. SMH is what I want to take a look at before wrapping up. So you can see this also did a rebound all the way back to our trend line and it's now selling off. I'm pretty sure in the post market it has a reaction as well of a sell off. Um, let's go to the hourly interval. Because it's a semiconductor ETF and semiconductors I just showed you, they have been selling off. Yep, it's selling off from one of our resistance, significant resistance area as well. This was the solid. That's why I had this, uh, guys, this rebound may come, but that's why we have this trend line that then it will continue to fall and it's falling. So I think SMH may continue to go lower. So instead of shorting individual stocks, again, I'm not recommending you short. Again, well, you do whatever you want to do. I'm just sharing here what I'm looking at and what i may do soxs be very careful though with this like i'm very careful with this thing this is a three times bearish um you know semiconductor play and let's go to the daily interval so it's a leverage play but this if semiconductors are going up this degrades very badly you, it degrades three times you lose your money so once the direction is uh, taken on let's say semiconductor if it's going to the downside this thing can you know go really high up as well 36 is it at so it's a three times leverage play right so of semiconductors but I mean I'm looking I'm looking into it uh, if I'll take this position I'll talk about it but or well I'm just no well depends I don't have to I'm just here to teach you what I'm doing I'm just looking at it and if I feel like sharing this, if you want me to tell you SMH, if sorry not SMH, if I took position in SOXS, hit lot of likes on my videos and subscribes, okay? Yeah, I need something, some uh, some love from you guys on my videos, okay? Uh, Alright guys, well that's it for this video. Now SMC, I checked that out on my channel and another video on NVIDIA will be coming out as well. And just before wrapping up, I'm seeing AMD is now, maybe the earnings call is happening. I'm not listening to an earnings call right now, so, but looks like the sell-off is continuing badly again. So this is AMD, 144 now. So that's it for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. If you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos. Thank you, guys. Bye.